Oh man, we're not even one week into the MLB season and things are already getting crazy. What's up guys, this is Mike from True Business Review and today, new video talking about the MLB and we'll relate it to the NFL in just a sec. So to start things off, 14 players and coaches in the Miami Marlins tested positive for COVID-19. Um, obviously they can't describe which players it is because that's against um, uh, doctor-patient uh, confidentiality rights. Um, but it's honestly, it doesn't matter. 14 players on a 52-man roster have tested positive. Lots more have probably been exposed. The Miami Marlins just beat the Philadelphia Phillies in Philadelphia in a three-game series. They won the series 2-1. to one. So not only were the Marlins in the visiting dugout, which means the whole entire visiting dugout has to be exposed, the Marlins also, if you watch the actual games, it's not really the safest. you got the umpire and the catcher and the batter all standing around top of each other. And then if there's a runner on first base, then the first baseman has to hold them on right next to it, right next to the runner, which is pretty unsafe as well. So I'd be shocked if the Philadelphia Phillies haven't been exposed as well. The Marlins home opener against the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees game against the Phillies, both scheduled for Monday night, have been postponed, the MLB has said. Um, so Commissioner Rob Manfred didn't discuss canceling the season with the league's 30 team owners um, during a, con a conference call, but... I mean, it just thinks it looks like things are falling apart. And if this is happening to the MLB already, think about what happens to the NFL. So with the MLB, these 14 players in the Marlins, you got to um, assume that some of them are probably core players. They're going to be out for two weeks, probably miss around 12 games out of a 60 game season, which is about one fifth of the games in the season. So apply that same logic to the NFL. If a player, if, um, let's say the Miami Dolphins, just, you know, keep things similar. The Miami Dolphins are playing the Philadelphia Eagles, and, um, obviously it's a contact sport, so both teams will be exposed. Let's say 14 people on the Miami Dolphins get the virus, and then they expose the Philadelphia Eagles. The whole entire Dolphins roster, basically, will not be able to play a game for two weeks. Two out of 16, that's only one-eighth of the entire season. But we all know how crucial two games can be in terms of the NFL. So is the NFL going to get shut down? I would not be surprised. In fact, I believe all sports will probably take this as a bit of an example. So it's really, you know, you hate to see it. The Marlins contaminating everything um, in, the, in Philadelphia. The Phillies aren't allowed to leave, basically. The Marlins can't leave Philly. And if this happens in the NFL, it's going to be a lot worse. Because you'll see everybody get exposed through contact sports. And, um... I don't know what to take from this. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, comment. There we go.